Well, the first Thor Ragnarok trailer just surfaced in it and quite honestly, it's a pretty pleasant surprise. Well, we all know that the previous two Thor movies aren't generally considered to be anyone's favorite Marvel movies and quite honestly, I didn't have much anticipation for this one either. But after this hell of a trailer that gave me the Guardians of the Galaxy vibes, well, Thor Ragnarok has instantaneously become one of my most anticipated movies of the year. From a decidedly more ambitious outer space setting, to director Taika Waititi's distinctive sense of humor, this suddenly looks a lot more appealing than its predecessors and a lot more fun than other superhero movies on the schedule. So what is Ragnarok? Very briefly, Ragnarok is the Norse Twilight of the Gods. This is the end of all things Asgard, so basically it spells catastrophe. Well, Hela is responsible for the destruction of Asgard overall. In Norse mythology, Hela is daughter of Loki. And in Marvel's version of things, she is the daughter of Loki, but not our Loki. Basically a Loki who died in the previous Ragnarok, which is where all of these gods end up anyway. It's not clear if they're going to go that route in this movie. Surprise, surprise, Loki is in the movie. Well, obviously. And I don't believe you need anything about Loki, do you? Check out Carl Urban as Scourge. Scourge is another Stan Lee, Jack Kirby creation and he first appeared in Journey into Mystery 103. He's been around almost as long as Thor himself. The Grandmaster is part of the same group of elders from the first Guardians of the Galaxy film. So the Guardian's connections here aren't just aesthetic. Well, Grandmaster loves games, so making him the reason that Thor and Hulk end up squaring off in an arena here makes about as much sense as anything else. Well, this is the first time ever someone introduced Hulk as the Incredible Hulk. Finally, damn it! In the unlikely event that you aren't aware of this by now, Hulk is wearing his armor from the excellent Planet Hulk story, where he ended up on the planet Sakaar, where he becomes far more than just a gladiator. Anyway, while Hulk definitely spent time fighting in an arena in Planet Hulk, he never fought Thor, he did however fight the Silver Surfer. Well, as of now, we don't know much about the Volkaya, but she appears to be presumably one of the last Volkaya. And also, she appears to be a bounty hunter working for Grandmaster.